Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Before we start with today's video, I just wanted to let everyone know who doesn't already know that we were featured on the Drew Barrymore show. It was actually very surreal. They reached out to us, asked us if they could use our one of our videos uh, in the show to promote different ways to help people fall asleep. And you know, we got the shout out. Uh, Drew Barrymore said our names, which was just so exciting. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, uh, you can on our Instagram, Sleep Granted ASMR. We've posted it there if you want to check that out. Anybody who's joining the channel from seeing us uh, on the Drew Barrymore show, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hope you get some great rest. And, but today we're going to be uh, continuing on business as normal. I'm going to be giving you a visualization. It's going to be sort of a, a hike slash barefoot walk through a mountain, some springs and different sites that you'll find along the way. So get comfy, close your eyes and join me on this little adventure that I will take you on. Now first things first, you want to wake up in your tent. You're nice and cozy. You brought a, a nice warm sleeping bag and maybe some extra pillows. You step outside after unzipping the tent and you feel some fresh dew on the grass, on your bare feet. It's a little cold, but the air is also chilly. You start to walk around and you find yourself on a nice peak that gives you a great view of everything. The clouds are low, giving the valleys a mist look and you can see the peaks of other mountains around you. The sunrise is barely started and you hear birds waking up all around you. Other than that, you hear nothing but the wind. You find a rocky trail and you start your way down it, taking soft steps until you find yourself in a clearing and see a natural hot spring. You dip your toe in and it's nice and warm, a contrast to the dew on the grass that you felt earlier. You let your whole foot it submerge into a shallow part and hold it there for just a minute. And you put in your second foot and stand, listening to running water in the background, little waterfalls and streams surrounding the area. You walk out and you start to climb a hill. You feel branches and you feel grass and you use the support of small trees to allow yourself to climb up. And when you're at the top, you can see the full sunrise. It's lit up the entire valley. The mist is gone and now all you see is just green. As far as the eye can see, forests, large trees covering the entire area. And you start to make your way downhill, slowly. You're keeping your balance as the steep hill becomes steeper. But you're never falling, just guiding your hands through the grass to keep yourself upright. Eventually you come to a large tree with lots of limbs circling all around from the base 
all the way up to the top and you decide to climb it. You step your foot onto one branch, grab onto one higher up and pull yourself up. You slowly bit by bit, hearing nothing but the cracking of the tree limbs, more birds in the distance. You get about halfway up the tree and you find a nest. There are no birds, just eggs in it. You can hear the little tweets of a bird nearby and you figure that must be the mom. So you continue on your way. You climb further up and now you're where the leaves are strongest and you feel them brushing along your face and arms as you reach up higher and higher. They're still slightly wet from the morning dew as well. And you can feel that gliding down from your forehead down your cheek. Never soaking your jacket, but just leaving little trails of water along it. You get to the top and you really hear nothing until you speak out and whatever you say into the world, it echoes. So you take a moment and you think of something positive to say. Something that gets you out of bed in the morning, something that makes you feel stronger and better. And you say that into the wind and let it echo, echo, echo out into the valley before making your way down the tree. When you're at the base, you walk back to where you've set up your tent on that clearing that overlooked all those mountains. You pack up your tent and you make your way down to the trail and you hike all the way back down past different colored flowers, some orange, some pink, some you've seen before, some you haven't, right by a large rock face with a thin waterfall gliding down. Some of the water hits jagged rocks and splashes onto your trail so if it gives off a little mist, then it's your face. As you approach the stream, you look downhill and see it. Comes out into a small lake. So you follow the stream. In the shallow parts, you let your bare feet dip into it. To feel the cold water wrap around your ankle. and then move back onto the grass. As you come to the clearing, you see multiple deer all taking a drink out of the lake. So you sit on the grass, get comfortable while you watch them. You see a mom and a baby. You watch it prance around, be carefree, they're always on high alert, but you don't make a sound or any movement, so they barely even notice you're there. After they've left, you walk down to the lake and you take a swim. It's now gotten warmer in the day, so the cold water cools you down and refreshes you. You don't go very far, but you do let your head go under the water to wake you up before swimming back to shore. And you keep walking. You walk to the part of the path that you had come earlier to get to this spot that had small little branches and twigs blocking the path. 
You didn't want to disrupt nature and break it down, so you instead just walked through it and let it graze past your face and cheeks. You take off your jacket so that you can feel it run along your arms quite slowly and gently as well. And when you're on the other side, you see your home across a large field. You get to the fence of the backyard of your home. You open your gate and you walk across the dewy grass of your backyard to your home. Now that you've had your camping trip up the mountain. Well, I hope that this helped you relax. I hope you were able to visualize it. I had a specific place in mind when I was describing it, but maybe you know a place yourself much like it, or maybe you made up a whole new place to explore. But thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you have a great sleep. I hope that sleep was granted, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great night.